Hey, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go over adding and subtracting expressions using algebra tiles. And if you recall, uh, when you're using algebra tiles, the green side is a positive, uh, in this case the rectangle is a positive x, and the red side is a negative x value. So if I have two greens showing, that's a positive 2x, right? And then the smaller squares has a yellow and a red side, and the yellow is positive 1, and the red is negative 1. So if I have three negative, uh, three small red squares, that's negative 3. Okay, now, um, you may not have algebra tiles at your house, so that's fine. When you're taking your notes, and I hope that you are, uh, please, you can use this kind of um, symbol, okay? So we, instead of a green, you can just draw a rectangle with a plus. Instead of a red X, you can just draw a rectangle with a negative. And then the small yellow squares can be a positive, and the small red squares can be a negative like this. And so that way you can still copy and follow along, but I'm going to go ahead and use the color tiles. Okay? So let's get started. You can see that I have two addition problems and two subtraction problems. I'm going to put my tiles inside here, and for the addition, I'll have an addition sign in the middle. So I have a positive 3x to start out with, so that's going to go here, positive 3x, plus 2. Okay, and I'm not going to put a symbol in here because I already know what the values are based on their color. But it's important that I have this add, uh, addition sign here. Now, I have a positive 5 x, positive 5 x, and then I have a negative 6. Okay, so positive 3x plus 2 plus positive 5x minus 6 or negative 6. Now, all I'm going to do is simply combine these since I'm adding. So I'm going to take my 3x's here plus my 5x's here. And I'm going to get a total of 8x, right? We're combining like terms. Then I'm going to take my positive 2 here and my negative 6 and when I combine these, you know that this positive 1, this negative 1 can cancel. This positive 1, this negative 1 can cancel. And I'm left with negative 4. And we already knew that positive 2 plus negative 6 is negative 4. So this is my final answer for this problem. Okay, let's try another one. Negative x plus 4. Okay, negative x plus 4 plus 6x minus 3. Okay, so negative 1x plus 4 plus positive 6x minus 3. Well, I'll combine my x's and one of these positive x's will cancel out with one of these negative x's. So I'm left with positive 5x. And then when I combine the ones, 1, 2, 3, 4 positive, and 3 negative, and we know what's going to happen. 3 of these positives are going to cancel 3 of the negatives. I'm left with a positive 1, 5x plus 1. Okay, now let's try a subtraction problem. Negative 4x minus 3 and positive 6x. Oh, sorry. Let me get this one here. Negative 4x minus 3 minus, not changes to a minus. Minus positive 2x 
plus 3. Okay, negative 4x minus 3, or plus negative 3, minus positive 2x plus 3. Okay, so uh, now, when we were doing addition, we could just combine these straight. Since this is subtraction, we have a negative 4x, and then we're actually subtracting, or minus 2x. So we know from the rules of integers that when we subtract by a positive number, it's the same, or subtract a positive number, it's the same as adding a negative number. So I'm going to go ahead and treat this as I'm adding negative 2 and flip these around. Hope you guys can see what I did there. Now I'm going to combine them. Essentially what I'm doing is changing this into addition problem. Now I have a negative 3 minus a positive 3. So, negative 3 minus positive 3 is the same as adding negative 3. Okay, and now I'm left with negative 6x minus 6. Alright, let's try one last one. I have a positive 3x minus 8 minus negative 3x and then minus 4. Well, let's see what happens. Positive 3x, when I combine like terms, I'm going to subtract negative 3x, so that means I'm going to add positive 3x. Hope you can follow that along. If you can't, rewind the video and see, see if you can catch it the second time. Now I have negative 8, okay? negative 8, uh, and then I'm subtracting a negative 4, so that's the same thing as adding a positive 4, and then 4 negatives and 4 positives can cancel each other out, and I'm left with negative 4. Okay? So, uh, I know that was quick, and Maybe it will take another, some more practice to get it, but uh, hopefully this was helpful and you can at least visualize what's happening when we're adding and subtracting expressions uh, with the help of using algebra tiles. As always, I thank you for watching.